How you doing YouTube? Just going to show you the WE Colt 1911 gas blowback airsoft pistol uh, in 6mm. Um, pretty good gun, I've used it for what, a couple of years now. Um, as you can see it don't get, well I've used it a couple of years but it don't get that much use. It's If you're a if you're an airsofter like me you mainly have a pistol just for the look really it don't very often get used but it's seen a bit of action got the odd kill in the uh, in the game zone but uh, but yeah mainly it's just it's a just in case it's back up so it don't get that much hammer but uh, it's the only it's the only gas blowback I've got and the only one I've ever had um, been quite a good gun, can't really fault it, um, apart from in the winter, like most gas blowbacks, it, you know, you take a couple of shots and then it basically blows all the gas out of the barrel and that's it, after your third or fourth, fourth shot. But all in all, it's uh, it's a well made, well made gun really, for, you know, for what it is, I mean, I think I paid about £110 for it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sound enough. Um, everything that you'd expect really on a sort of like the real deal 45. The, the safety is the same, where you squeeze the squeeze the the rear of the of the hand grip. So without squeezing it, for I've cocked the hammer, so if I press the trigger, nothing. But you squeeze the back, pull the trigger, and there she goes. Same sort of thing as a real thing and what you'd expect in a airsoft gas blowback. Load the mag up, cock it, and you're ready to roll. I'm not sure if she's got any gas in. Oh yes, yeah, she has a bit. So yeah, well there we go. You can see the blowback action. There she goes, <laughs> that's empty. That gives you the general idea. But yeah, it's uh, it's good fun when you when you actually get to give them a bit of action, you know, in the in the game zone. But uh, there's a sight picture. Bring that closer if we can. Just sort of standard iron sights. Uh, drop the mag out by pressing the mag release there. Let's just press that. There we go. Let's just go into detail a little bit about the mags. Then we load them up. I'll just show you. I recommend using this kick ass gas. I find this to be the most, well, the most powerful gas apart from propane, but you're not going to use that in a pistol, well, not to my knowledge anyway. But uh, but yeah, this is, this is pretty good stuff. So, as you can see in the end of the, the mag, Put your can in like that. Gas her up. I always give it about 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. But I find by the time I come to use use the pistol in the in the game zone, which is maybe 30 minutes, hour into the game, and if it's cold, it's lost all its gas anyway. But I think that's mainly just you know down to the weather rather than the gun. But yeah, you load your mags by there's a, there's like a little see it's frosting up now, so I'm in my attic, so it's a little bit cold up here. But there's a little uh, sort of lever there. You pull that back all the way. It compresses that spring to that lug, and it just hang on, that's my broken mag. Let's go on to the one that works properly. Yeah, compress that all the way back. Oops. Try again. No, it's not having it. They are ever so fiddly. Right, that's got it. It's locked in position. So that's compressed the spring, and then what you do, you feed your, I don't know how many, I think it's about 15 shots, 15, 20 shots, into there, and then release your, release your, I suppose it would be a plunger. Release that, and then of course that pushes your BBs up as you fire. But I've found, as I've 
uh, well, learnt. If you've done what I just did, where you accidentally release it when there's no BBs in, and that plunger shoots up to the top, you can actually snap the uh, the plunger at the at the other end. And so I've done that on this magazine, and it because it snapped, it, it don't actually compress all the way, so I can't get my BBs in that hole. So I'm having to load them individually, the sort of, I suppose you'd call it the conventional way. So a little bit fiddly, but I'm having to do that with that mag. So that's always a, it's a good point with, with these magazines. When you pull that plunger down, try not to release it when it's got nothing in because it will just shoot up to the other end and snap the pin, snap the plunger. And then it's just a pain in the arse to load up then. Especially if you've got gloves on and you know you need to load up quick, but I mean that's the reason I I take two mags out anyway. It's uh, you've you've got enough you've got enough backup for you know your sort of general game scenario time wise. You know if an hour and a half, two hour game, or whatever. It depends what you're doing. If you're doing woodland, you know chances are you ain't going to use you ain't going to use your pistol that much. But if you're in on an urban game then well you're going to use your pistol but anyway let's go on to the gun that covers the max so all in all gun well made light very comfy easy to operate with gloves um you've got your your cock it you've got your your mechanism there to hold the slide back and that's pretty much just like the real thing. Release that, slide goes back. Uh, there's your mag release again. Um, you've also got, let's bring it a bit closer. Maybe you can see that loop there. So if you've got a lanyard, I always have a lanyard on my rig. And then uh, you've got to worry about losing your, losing your pistol when you're crawling about or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good pistol. Um, it's just when you get to use it, really, find yourself in that situation where your 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 main weapon's out of ammo, and it's time to draw this. Then you're in business, and there's there's nothing more satisfying than a good pistol kill. So yeah, more on the gun then. Uh, barrel, everything's metal. Um, there's nothing polymer on this, apart from the grips are, are plastic. Um, and it's it's fairly solid, you know. We're, I mean, I've crawled along the ground with this, dragging in the in the in the mud and God knows what, and it's it still still does the job. Um, I always spray a little bit of silicon on it, after, you know, once I've cleaned it up after use. You can field strip them um, by pushing. I think it's that pin out. I'd done it once and it was a pain to get back together and to be honest you don't really you don't really need to uh, to feel strip them it's not like the real thing where you've got to you know you've got to be cleaning them after every use but uh, but yeah overall good choice of uh, side art. I know there's a lot out there you can get the you know the pimped up uh, 45s now with the better grips and you know the wrist rails and everything but uh, this will do me for now you know and I'm not sure what, how much they are now you probably get them for probably less than probably get them for less than 100, 100 pounds now um, but yeah overall pretty good gun I can't fault it apart from like I say in the winter gas is just no good not over here in the UK anyway, in a cold winter, you just got no hope with gas, it's a waste of time. So I might be looking to get a, get an electric pistol, maybe, I don't know. I'll see, depends. Before I just give you another demo of, uh, of uh, the blowback, let's just load a mag up again with some gas.
That should be enough just to give you a bit of a demo. Now again, cock. That's it, vented. So it's a little bit cold uh, where I am at the minute, so that's probably froze up the magazine. As I found that as well, when it's really cold and you blat a load of shots off, if you manage to without the gas leaking, uh, you'll find that your magazine is froze solid and probably stick to your fingers if you're not wearing gloves. Yeah, that's quite cold, that is now. Did I put any gas in this one? Let's have a look. No, nothing in that. So yeah, overall, that pretty much concludes my, well, I know it's only a bit of a basic review, but, you know, there's not that much to review on these things. I mean, apart from build quality's good, reliability, okay in warm weather, crap in cold weather, um, but for the amount you use it, if you're a, avid skirmisher like myself to be honest it's for the look really but it, it, it is good just to to get the odd pistol kill but uh, but yeah that's it comes with two mags comes with two mags um, um, that's it really as far as maintenance is concerned, like I say, I'm just a squirt of silicon every now and then. Um, and a wipe down if you get it in the mud. So yeah, pretty good gun. Thanks for watching.